let's discuss the challenging problem um, where we are having a number n that is having 1998 number of ones and we need to find out the thousand digit after the decimal point of root n so to start with we can see that the number n can be written as 1 by 9 into collection of 9 all digits are going to become 9 and that can simply be written as 10 to the power 1998 minus 1 divided by 3 now we are talking about the thousand digit after the decimal point of root n so root n is going to be root over 10 to the power 1998 minus 1 divided by uh, 3 sorry here it's going to be 9 after taking the square root it will become 3 so this is root n now think about this we are looking for the thousandth digit after the decimal point of root n so parallelly let us take an example think about a number which is 252.476 now for this number if you are looking for the digit after two places of decimal like this is the decimal point and this is first place second place so we are looking for the digit which is after two places of decimal so like if i multiply this number with 10 square on multiply means number with 10 square it is going to be 25247.6 so now that digit 7 which was two places after the decimal is now the units plus digit okay so we can apply this concept out here like we are looking for the thousandth digit after the decimal so that is going to be the units digit that is going to be the units digit of the number 10 to the power 1000 into root n that is we are looking for the units digit of 10 to the power 1000 into root 10 to the power 1998 minus 1 by 3 and taking 10 to the power 1000 within the square root this will become 10 to the power 3998 minus 10 to the power 2000 by 3 we are looking for the units digit of this number now if we closely inspect this number is uh, like 10 to the power 3998 minus 10 into 10 to the power 2000 this number is definitely going to be less than 10 to the power 3998 minus 8 into 10 to the power 2000 plus 16 and this is definitely going to be more than the number 10 to the power 3998 minus 14 into 10 to the power 2000 um, just a moment let us make it uh, this is going to be 10 to the power 1999 we are dealing with uh, huge numbers so you know so this is 1999 plus 49 okay so we can safely say that this number 10 to the power 3998 minus 10 to the power 2000 so 10 to the power 2000 is written as 10 into 10 to the power 1999 now you can see that this number is definitely less than this particular number because here it is 8 into 10 to the power 1999 and this is 10 into 10 to the power 1999 so lesser quantity is getting subtracted so this number automatically will be more and plus 16 will make it much more and here you see 14 into 10 to the power 1999 that is bigger quantity is getting subtracted from here from the same quantity so this is going to be a lesser number okay and 49 will not make much difference because we are talking about huge numbers in the tune of 10 to the power 199 so now we can say that uh, root over 10 to the power 3998 minus 10 to the power 2000 is sandwiched between now we can see that our strategy was to make a perfect square block out here and that we are successful out there because this is going to be 10 to the power 1999 minus <coughs> 4 whole square so after taking square root that square part will be gone and uh, it will be more than this is again is another perfect square block so this is 10 to the power 1999 minus 7 square and on taking 
square root that square part will be gone okay so taking square root we have got a particular bound so on dividing by 3 we are getting a bound of the number now let us go back quickly to our um, problem our problem was to find out the units digit of this number okay so we are looking for the units digit of this number so for finding out the units digit of this number now we can see that the upper limit of this number is of the form 9999 so on the last digit is 6 by 3 and the lower limit is of the form 9999 and the last digit is going to be 3 divided by 3 because we are subtracting 7 and here we are subtracting 4 so last digit 6 and here the last digit is 3 so on dividing by 3 this number is going to be like 33332 3, 3, 3, and the lower limit is going to be 33331 3, 3, 3, so we can see that a number which is sandwiched between these two numbers should obviously be of the model 33331 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, point something this kind of number because it is sandwiched between these two numbers and since the number will be 33331 3, 3, point something so the units digit is going to be 1 and this units digit which is 1 is going to be the thousandth digit after the decimal for the number root 10 so our answer is going to be 1